Hi, my name is John Farrell. I'm a patent attorney. Welcome back to my YouTube channel today. Today's going to be a little bit different. I want to talk about something called the three-minute patent. Now, without question, patent attorneys have the coolest jobs. We get to spend our days reading patents, inventions of others. And while these are not literary works necessarily, they're super interesting and it's a lot of fun to read patents. But patents are complicated. I've been reading patents all of my life. I read many patents every day. And yet, even for me, a professional patent attorney, patents are difficult to read. So oftentimes, I have to read numerous patents at any one time. For example, when performing a patent search, I may have a whole stack of patents to read. And so I've come up with a process that I call the three-minute patent. And essentially, it's a way to quickly read and understand a patent based on looking at a couple of simple points, single points throughout the patent. And I want to share those with you today. Now, I want you to understand, this is not uh, the same as reading a patent and understanding it well enough to explain it to a jury or to make a determination as to whether there's infringement of a patent. But it's enough for me to understand what the patent is about. And many patents are complicated, so it's great to have a tool or a trick that I can use to quickly get through and comprehend a patent. Now there's five places in a patent that I look when performing my three-minute patent read. The five places are I read the patent title, I read the first sentence of the abstract, I look at the picture, the figure, at the bottom of the first page, and then I next go to what's generally called the background of the invention. Now, not all patents have this, but many patents have something called the background of the invention. And this helps the examiner, it helps the reader get context on what the invention is about. I look at the first paragraph, I look at the last paragraph, and then finally, the fifth place I look is the patent claim. I don't read the patent claim to understand all the details, but what I'm trying to do is get a sense of what the patent is about. Anyway, this is a useful, useful trick to me. Uh, if you have some other tricks that you like or some techniques that you use to quickly read and understand patents, please put them in the comments below. We would really appreciate that. That's all I have about the three-minute patent today. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Thanks so much.